So, so this is not even a talk. It's really just so many people have asked me about Petalis and hey, what's your PhD doing, by the way? And, and, and it started to get annoying, so I just made it public in front of everyone. And so I, uh, so as part as my PhD project, I developed a parallel programming language called Better Lisp, and I, because I did not know, I had more than five minutes, <laughs> so I, I squeezed everything onto two slides. So, so slide number one is what's Better Lisp. For those that don't know yet, um, I tried to come up with a, a simple parallel programming language because right now in all other languages. Once you go parallel, it gets gradually uglier and uglier. And you got we, we had this other talk about the deadlocks, the light locks, the segports, or the uh, whatever. Um, so the so parallel programming is, is at the moment it's it's just hard and annoying programming. So programs are typically not as parallel as they should be. And, and I tried to make something that is about as simple as lambda calculus and just three building blocks or something. And the building blocks I chose is just uh, you have map, which should be familiar to everyone. You just map a function over things. You can reshape um, your your data structure. The only data structure is really an array which can have strides, as you see in the other example. But that's about it. And you can reshape things, um, in, and you can go from two to three dimensions. Um, take every second element, whatever. This is reshaping, and you can combine arrays, multiple arrays, into one. And those are your three building blocks. And the the cool thing is, this is a simple parallel language, but it's actually a a template language because uh, what function do you map and depending on what you would insert there you would get different languages and and in my case i i insert common list functions so it is uh, automatically a library for parallelizing common list so that's the the what's going on slide and and uh, so what's the goal uh, the goal is i personally never want to worry about parallelization again at least for cases that i can represent with those three building blocks i'm just so tired of of debugging communication protocols and all that. And and, and now it seems repetitive. So as a Lisp program, I feel the urge to, to solve that once and for all. And also I want to outperform C++, C++ on its home turf of numerical computing without the agonizing pain. So that's the goal. Um, and my original roadmap was to, to finish all those, those checkboxes for ELS 23 and give a lightning talk with Hooray. And, and but then I decided to socialize. I, I now have enough wisdom that I just go to sleep eventually. And then so, so, so that's why you have almost everything in a green box. And, and now the new roadmap is to finish a week after ELS 23. So <laughs> wish me luck. And um, yeah, and, and the final thing is the, the implementation. What has been solved so far is a very fancy font. And so it presents itself as an array language that's super convenient, implicit batches, implicit broadcasting. And all that, and then it gets you know, the state of flow graph gets turned into a, um, an algorithm decides what to put into memory, what to put into kernels in an efficient way. Memory locality is optimized by rotating those arrays, and and then memory is cut into chunks, preserving locality. Those chunks are scheduled. You have to determine an allocation, and then you jit and run all those kernels with, which among other things led to SBSMD, the, the library that many of you may know. And, and that's about yeah what I did and what I plan to do. And the core final thing is that the everything apart from running, the, the running part, of course, depends on your application. But this entire pipeline and all those algorithms and steps is still on the range of microseconds. So this may be also a difference to, to other frameworks and compilers. So ideally, you never, you don't even have, not only do you not have to worry about parallelization, you will also not have to worry about compiling your code anymore because it's just so fast. So that's about it. Thank you. Let's go on for five more minutes. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> All right. Yeah, question? Oh, yeah, there is a question from Luke. Okay, okay Luke. So, so what, I, what I'm trying to understand is like, kind of what, is it, what is it good for and what is it not good for? So suppose I have something that is logically a map. I have, I have a, a, an array, a one-dimensional array of some numbers, and I'm mapping a function over it that performs some non-trivial calculation involving you know, various mathematical operations. Is that going to be magically CIMD, or what's going to happen with that? Uh -huh. We have to know. Okay, so the question is, can I, uh, what, 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 where can I just map things over it and, and, and magically get the performance and where does that break down, I guess? Yeah. And, and so um, the rule is anything you can represent in a structured, homogeneous way, 
you get all the parallelization for free. What, what wouldn't work is an unstructured data or a sparse data structure or something. Um, in that case, you, you would have to do extra steps to turn it into a homogeneous structure first. But whenever you have 1,000 times the same operation or something, then this works for, for all sorts of data types and kinds of functions. It's like a composite operation. It's a function you know, with, with some nested forms. So we need to break those each into separate array of operations, separate maps, or compared to this kind of fill my code part. I don't exactly get the question. Would it be a race of structs or something like this? Um, maybe we've got to take this off time. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm, I'm, I will be there for the next day and, and even the days after and so on. Ask me later. Another question, maybe? Uh, yes. Uh, so you mentioned sync at the end. Are you doing auto vectorization or do you make the programmer do that? No, no, auto vectorization. Re just the uh, oh, oh, right. Oh, sorry. Okay. The question was uh, is there auto vectorization going on or does the programmer have to do it uh, herself or himself? And, and the answer is I do auto vectorization. Thanks.